I never knew it before. I never knew anything before. When she come into the court, I say to myself, I must not accuse this woman, for she sleeps in ditches and is so very old and poor. But then, then she sit there denying and denying. And then I feel a misty coldness climbing up my back. And the skin on my skull begin to crawl, and I feel a clamp around my neck. And I cannot breathe air. And then I hear a voice, a screaming voice. Ah! And it weren't my voice. And then. All at once, I remember, I remember everything she done to me. So many, so many times, Mr. Proctor, she come to this very door begging bread and cup of cider. And mark this every time I turned her away. Empty. She mumbled. But what does she mumble? Oh, you must remember, Goody Proctor. Last week, Monday, I, I think, she went away and I thought my guts would burst for two days after, do you remember it? So, I told Judge Hathorne that. And he says to her, Sarah Good, says he, what curses do you mumble that this girl may fall sick after turning you away? And she replies with, why, Your Excellency, no curse at all. I only say, I only say my commandments. I hope I may say my commandments, said she. So Judge Hathorn says, recite for us your commandments. And of the ten, she could not name a single one. Daniel Elder. And you please come to the front of the school. Daniel Elder, please come to the front of the school.